Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I have for you Bolt action from Warlord Games. We have the German Army Support Group Winter Campaign. They are designed for the mid to late era, not early. Reason why is the MG42. The MG42 didn't see service till 1942. Okay? So you cannot use the MG squad in the early, but you can use an MG38 squad um, for the squad or an MG18, uh, and that would make it valid for early. However, it currently is set for mid to late. And so let's open the box. Let's see what's in it. Uh, we've got some nice sized bases and the minis themselves. Uh, these are metal miniatures. These are made in England. So take it with a pinch of salt, guys. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay. So that's the mortar. That's the mortar. Nice, nice. Uh, MG tripod and the MG itself. So there's the commandant and the lieutenant. Okay, so this is the commandant, which is your main squad leader. Miniatures do have a lot of detail on them for being metal. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, let me just move the mic closer. So that's actually pretty good, uh, the fact that the miniatures are this detailed. Um, there is a bit of flashing that you need to clean up, especially on things like the bases. Um, Two-part mould, as you can tell from the singulated seam line, but not bad. Um, we'll put him up there, and then he, this is the lieutenant with the uh, Pierce being a MP40. Yes, that's what would make it learn mid to late war you would have to get rid of the mp40s and give them what would it be mp18s mp18s mp32s yeah and of course we've got a recon scout I think it, he could be a, a nice little model to convert into uh, maybe a sharpshooter. Give him a K98 or a uh, yeah K98 or the German semi-auto. Carl's um, the bolt action. I'm having a brain fart moment here. That was a 43 or a 41. Yeah. And that's the MG42 machine gunner. You can tell. Because the way the model is set. Now bear in mind I haven't really cleaned up the model or anything yet. So it would be something similar to like this. Says the gunner. That's the mortar loader because he's holding a mortar round in his hand. So we'll put you there. There's the machine gun belt fed. So he goes over there. That's the mortar tube launcher. So he goes there. That's the mortar tube launcher there. And that's our MG. Spotter with ah, that would be a Sturmgewehr on his back. Interesting. So I'll put the Sturmgewehr over there, and of course your ubiquitous medic holding a wounded soldier. Uh, again, which is kind of cool. So that's what's in the kit. That's what comes in the box. Um. I got it for £20 at my local hobby store, 
Uh, do I think it is worth it? Absolutely. freaking um, I am starting a bolt-action German mid-to-late war army. Uh, so that means I get to use Tigers, Tiger 2s, Panthers, um, things of that nature. Um, Hetzers. No, not Hetzers, sorry. Stugs. And uh, Pack 40s and uh, Pack 88 and the uh, 88s. So I get to use some decent anti-tank guns. Because um, early war, it's all mostly infantry machine guns. Um, Panzer 1s, Panzer 2s. That's, oh, I also get to use Panzer 3s, Panzer 4s. And... Elephants. So that would be fun. Um, also a lot of infantry uh, vehicles like the Verberwind. Uh, well, Verberwind's not infantry, it's any aircraft. But I'll get to use... Excuse me, I'll get to use a lot more modern... What I would consider modern for World War II uh, weapons. Same as uh, um, I'll get to use uh, Felsham Jäger Gewehr 42s, um, which is a paratrooper uh, uh, slash infantry portable MG 42s uh, using 20 round box mags instead of belt feds, which is kind of cool. Um, also, I'll get to use Stone Gewehr 44s, uh, MP 40s. Um, I'll get to use a whole bunch of really good stuff. I might even do these guys up to be Orbishant's commandos. Um, or just bare bones Veermark. Uh, no no SS, no Blitzkrieg. Um, again, not all Nazis, not all Germans were Nazis. Um, do yourself a little bit of history and take a look at uh, Operation Valkyrie. A little bit of a history lesson there for you. That's where some German high command officers didn't like what Hitler was doing and actually tried to kill Hitler so uh, yeah Operation Valkyrie was actually a real thing guys you should really look that up um, so again not all Germans were Nazis um, there were several instances where the Germans actually teamed up with the Allies uh, to fight another enemy which uh, we won't go into but uh, they were known for having a hammer and sickle that's all I need to say but Again, <laughs> um, that's my goal. Is this is where I'm going to start? I'm going to start with the command. Also means I, I'll get to practice my paint schemes, and um, it also means that I will get to uh, do this live on Twitch, so you guys will get to see where I'm going with the paint scheme ways and whatnot. Um, this is the winter set, so they will be. I expect a little bit of a winter theme: greys, whites things of that nature but i might actually mix it up a little bit um especially when it comes to the vehicles uh so that should be interesting okay guys so i'm gonna leave this video here please give the video a like if you like the video um please leave a comment in down below and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button it's the big red button somewhere down there and if uh, you really think the channel's worth it, hit that join button. It does help me to buy more miniatures, to do more videos like this. Uh, it also helps me buy better cameras. Because um, currently I'm having to use an old mobile phone as a camera to do the ground shots. And it's kind of showing. And I do apologize for that, guys. The camera's only like X megapixel, so. But anyway, guys. Till then, take care. And uh, keep yourselves flying, keep your enemies dying. And I'll see you guys in the next video.